sign up, up, up. Plenty has had no fate. All the love turned to hate. I was thinking of seeing heaven's gate Even had a rope with a set date No one could see through my smile All those who saw it said it was worthwhile Death wasn't calling so I chose to dial I couldn't survive, this world was too vile Started crying and I couldn't even breathe Felt the winter rushing down to my feet Should I jump, should I end my existence? I would do it but I hope it'll be quick Then Tino saw me in time, the hell is you doing? Get off this instant, untied the white rope of my cucks, left it red, then I bust in tears. She held me, I said, Nobody knows why I hear, nobody knows where I go, nobody knows what I feel at the moment. Nobody knows what I hear, nobody knows where I go. Um, for me, I feel like it's something important to talk about because I've gone through it and it's quite challenging. For me, it was very challenging and I do know a lot of people who've been through it or are going through it and it's affecting the community on a large scale. I would have hoped I could have had someone to talk to about the problems that I was having. I did start getting help recently. That's when I started to understand what was going through, what I was going through and what was causing it. In Zimbabwe, there's like um, 19 psychiatrists and 35, if I'm not mistaken, clinical psychologists. So I think we need to have people, more people in that industry because it's a population of over 15 million people. So I think we need more mental institutes and just more psychiatrists and psychologists who can help due to how it's happening right now. It's, um, we have more people committing suicide between the age of 15 to 29. So I think we really, it's a pandemic. Also like teaching people from a younger age that the mental health is there and how to go through it, how to avoid it. I don't think maybe it could be avoided, but how to go through it if you're going through it. So maybe we could have more counselors in school or even have a program in schools that teach people more about mental health and how to not create stigma um, against people who are going through mental health issues. I normally listen to a beat and then start thinking of melodies and then from the melodies I start inserting words and that's how I basically come up with the song. I put myself back in the position that I was when I was deeply depressed and that's what I managed to pull from because it's something that's very dear to me and something that's very emotional. So just being in that space and taking myself back to that space helped write the song. Getting help, that's one, and then also music that helps. Like, um, for example, when I was going through what I was going through, um, I had help from my older sister, mainly my older sister, because she's the one who was able to first pinpoint when I was going through depression. But with the society we have, the community in Zimbabwe, it's not taken seriously. And I was able to write about it and really look deeper within myself and try to figure out what it was that was causing it and how best to um, help myself. So for me personally, it was music. That was the biggest solution. Again, I, I think everything for me leads back to experience. So for me, my own personal experience is my unique style because it's unique to me. And maybe other people could relate, but for me, it's uh, my experiences that helped shape the style. Um, I've been discriminated before, whether it was because of my skin tone or 
in primary school, my parents used to shave my head. So other people, even parents would say, oh, look at that boy, look at what that boy's wearing, so it's okay for you to wear this. And also um, going through depression and going through a long period of sickness, it really affected my mental health. It's been a lot, a long journey. I also got raped at some point and the police didn't really do anything about it. And I also got kidnapped at work and assaulted and it's it's been a long journey. That's all I'll just say. Oh. That it's going to be okay, you just have to be strong and keep persisting. When you stop, that's there's a quote I once heard. When you fall down on the ground, you need to look up because if you look up, you can get up. So I believe in being strong and having to stand your ground and doing whatever it takes to get the justice you deserve. Even if you don't succeed, you would have put all you can and you would have tried all you can. It's just about being strong. I'd say go for it. You never know whose life you're gonna save through music. I got saved through music and I'm sure there's a lot of people who are in bad situations and if you can talk about it, that's the first step. You never know who you can help.